with an FC TV with Chris Agatech on in today's 1 1 draw at home to Chelmsford City. Aggie, another dominant display, but probably frustrating to not be coming away with all three points. Yep, two points dropped. Um, yeah, we've got, we got, uh, we got a win today. Um, can't be that um, dominant on the front foot. Um, create that amount of chances and uh, give up as little chances as what we've done and uh, come away with only a point, um, especially, especially at home. Right. Right, we've, um, you know, we've, we've left two points out there and um, you, know, you see the other results today and it makes it even more frustrating because again, today's another opportunity and yeah, great, we're back in the playoffs, but it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a real missed opportunity. Even in the first half, where they've had one shot on target and gone into the break one nil up, but mm. you've played against the wind in tough conditions and, and still dominated it. It's just, I guess, it compiles the frustration after that. After the day. Yep. Yeah. It's uh, you know credit to Chelmsford. They're well organised, and um, I didn't expect them to adopt the approach they did. Actually, I thought, you know, in the build-up, we said that they would um, fair be a bit more end to end but um, yeah, they're again very well organised um, similar to Chesham in the respect that um, sat in a block and was well coached well organised it's difficult to break down um, but we have broke it down but the problem is is we we give them a, a foothold in the game by giving up such a cheap goal um, and that is going to cost us like the amount of goals we conceded um, is going to cost us. It cost um, cost Worthing last year, and it will cost us this year um, if we continue to. I mean, they haven't even done anything. I can understand early on in the season, um, and I, when I say haven't even done anything in terms of like that's not being disrespectful to Chelmsford, like they haven't had to work hard to go one 0 up. Like in terms of from an attacking sense, they've set up well organised defensively, difficult to break down. Um, they've had one or two counter attacks, and the counter attack wasn't even wasn't one of those goals you come away from and you go, "Wow, that's an unbelievable bit of play." Like the Bore and Wood counter attack where Cash scored, like you go, "Wow, that's it was all right." But and the shot, I don't even think the shot's in the bottom corner. The lads off his weaker foot, he's drilled it at the centre of the goal, and it's found its way in, which is which is disappointing. Um, Early on in the season, we we, uh, we were giving up a lot of chances, and it was obvious why that we were conceding goals. Whereas we're not giving anything up really. Well, that's a half chance, I think. Like left foot going away from goal under pressure on his weaker foot. That's a half chance like that. And um, you know, bare minimum, bare minimum, we should win that game today one 0 So it's, it's very frustrating. Um, another well, obviously you had the red card, which was yeah. a turning factor, I guess, in, yeah. in terms of although you were dominant at that time anyway, mm. and then um, late on, Tammy Babalola goes down and under a challenge in the area. Mm. It's got to be a penalty that would have hope, you'd, you'd hope to win that game to win. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, he's um, he's just got his foot across it, and the lad's gone to clear it and gone straight through the back of him. Um, what compounds it as well is the last attack of the game. Uh, a very similar challenge from our player. He gives a free kick for in the penalty box. So, but, um, yeah, you, you, I'm not going to be too critical because, to be fair, like, compared to the level of refereeing I saw last year, this is like Champions League level, to be honest. So, um, you know, we, we shouldn't have to rely on um, a non penalty. To win that game today, as I said, credit to Chelmsford. They, they come here, they were organised, they were dogged, um, made life awkward. But you know, we, we we should be winning that game. And but again, that's not taking anything away from Chelmsford. I'm really conscious of that. They're they're, they're a good side. They've got a lot of quality, and I've got no doubt they will uh, climb the table very quickly. And um, but that's as I said, that's two points dropped today. Looking at the positives, created plenty of good opportunities again. Obviously, uh, we've touched on the frustration that we've, mm. we've only come away with a point today, but there's definitely positives there, and, and the attacking play is as good as it has been. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, yeah, no, we're, we're one of the top goal scorers in the league, if not the top goal scorer. 
scoring team in the league. Like we, we create a lot of chances regularly. I don't think there's been many games this year where we haven't put the ball in the net. So um, just reiterates what and reinforces what I said earlier. We can see too many goals, um, and it's something something that we need to look at because, as I said earlier on the season, when we played a different shape, we got. Um, exposed on transition, and we were giving up some real high-quality chances, and it was, you know, it, the balance of the team wasn't right. Whereas now, I look at the shape of the team, I look at the personnel in terms of like the positions they're playing, and you go, the balance of the team looks right. Like, we're not conceding hardly any chances, but as I said, he's kicked it down the centre for a goal. It's gone in. So it's, um, you know, it's, it's something that we need to we need to address because. Um, uh, we're in the playoffs, like, and you know, we, but uh, it's not enough. Like, it's not enough. I've, I've been around it long enough to know that if you can see the volume goals we do, we'll be fortunate if we get in the playoffs. We just um, let alone go anything beyond that. You know, we just we're not fortunate because you know we we work on it, but we're very good from an attacking perspective, and we score a lot of goals, and that's the reason we are where we are. Um, but the fact that we've still got a negative goal difference. But we've scored the amount of goals we already have. Just goes to show what the issue is. Um, so, and I, as again, I don't think it's the organisation of the team um, like it was perhaps before the Maidstone game. Um, I think it's um, potentially something else that we we'll look to address and deal with. Looking ahead, Tuesday night it's another toughy Farnborough away. Yeah. They're obviously in the playoffs themselves. You've got a massive week coming up with mm. Western Supermare following that up next Saturday. Uh, your thoughts ahead of Farnborough on Tuesday? Just look forward to it. Um, again, just excited about seeing seeing the team out there again because you know we're a good watch. I do, I, as much as I pull my hair out with some stuff, right, uh, in the main, I'm, I'm very proud of of what we've done in. Um, couple of months really um, and I think the team's improving um, I think when teams are sitting in like that we're improving in terms of knowing how to deal with it um, the goal come from a lot of work that we've done off the back of the Chesham game which is good um, so yeah now I'm, the, the, I'm proud I'm, I am proud of the team because they're working incredibly hard like Tommy Willard in the last sort of um, moments of the game where he's sprinting back towards the corner flag tracking a runner like this I think that's a sign of a good team when you've got your attacking players, your, your, your flair type players doing the hard miles like they are. So, you know, I'm, I, I look forward to us every time we play. Um, just oh, I'm more, um, not feel sorry because that's the wrong thing. I'm, I'm more disappointed for the group because some of the football we play and, and the way that we go about it. Like today, we, you know, we, should, we should be winning that game, and they, the, the players deserve that feeling of another three points in front of, in front of a brilliant home support. They deserve that, but um, you know, because they do some of, some of the most difficult stuff incredibly well. And you, you know, some other stuff, you go, Jesus Christ, how's that? How's that even gone in like the goal? It wasn't even a chance, and you think, well, how we won the other, but. Um, like I said, we'll, we'll address it and um, we're not going to be too deflated. Like I said, we're, we're in the playoffs, we know where we're at. We're not sitting here thinking we've cracked it. We're not sitting here thinking that we are AC Milan under Arrigo Saki that don't concede any goals. You know what I mean? Uh, defensively, we need a lot of work and we're going to need to improve if we're going to get through the Farnborough game and the, the Western game with, with the aim of, you know, we'll get six points. You know, we've already taken three points off Western. We want to take another three points off them. And we want to take three points off Farnborough, so uh, you know, just look forward to the week ahead. Thanks, Jack. Cheers, Jack.